Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. And yes, I did say good evening. Today, this is a global conference, and we welcome all of you for joining Leadership Through and Beyond the Crisis Conference today. First of all, I hope all of you and your families are doing well and you're staying self, safe and healthy. As Kelly said, my name is Satiris Sergiu. I'm one of the VP of Sales here at MicroStrategies, and I'm joined by my two esteemed colleagues, Beverly Geiger and Mike Vasselli. Beverly, if I can introduce yourself real quick. Now, thank you, Satiris, and good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, as Satiris was saying. Yes, my name is Beverly Geiger, and I'm one of the executives here at MicroStrategies. I will be one of the moderators for a little bit later in one of the panels. You know, and I'm participating in this event because I think it's really important that we help each other navigate through this time of crisis. Uh, I, sh I think we should leverage each other. We should leverage our knowledge, our strengths as a community to be strong. And I really look forward to this conversation today. Um, I hope everybody gets a lot out of it. I'm very excited to be here with the team and thank you very much everybody for joining. And you, Mike, I'm gonna pass it over to you. Thanks, Bev. Good day, everybody. Um, Mike Maspelli, I'm part of the executive team here at MicroStrategies. Um, you know, thank you all for joining. We have, uh, this thing has grown tremendously over the last couple of weeks. Uh, we have six sessions today. Uh, like Kelly said, feel free to jump in and out. Um, I think we're all gonna get a lot out of this. So uh, buckle up and enjoy the day. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Beverly. As Kelly said, we are by no means an event company, but we do have an amazing marketing organization and combined with our assistant who's been helping us pull this all together, we have set the platform for an open dialogue today. MicroStrategies is, however, a regional technology solutions company uh, based out of New Jersey in the United States of America, and we focus on the Northeast of, of the US. We go from Maine down to Maryland, but in response to this COVID-19 pandemic, we are pleased to introduce in conjunction with 1909 Digital and the context of things, our virtual conference, leadership through and beyond the crisis. We're also very excited to have a global audience combined with a rich, diverse set of panelists from around the world who will help us explore the emerging reality caused by this pandemic and offer their perspectives, insights, guidance for navigating through and what lies beyond these unprecedented times. Each of our panelists has been invited to join because they have unique insights, opinions based upon their own personal experience and professional business transactions with helping people and organizations. If you've had the chance to follow them through our website, they share their experiences through their books and blogs, and they educate and strive to provide others invaluable information on a daily basis. More importantly, though, today they have chosen to give back in the fight against COVID-19 by sharing their knowledge, so we are truly honored to have them with us all here today. Beverly, why don't you tell us a little bit about one of our guest speakers? Great. Thank you, Satiris. Uh, yes, <clears throat> we do have a special guest today, and her, na her name is Michelle Walker. Walker, um, she will join us at 1040 Eastern time today. So Michelle is the author and award-winning global thought leader, and she's the founder and CEO of The Gray Rhino and Company. I think you all might have heard of her book. Her latest book is called The Gray Rhino. And the book answers the questions, when an obvious danger is coming at you, why do some people act right away? And why do some others get trampled? I look forward to this session, and I believe it'll be very insightful. I really thank Michelle for joining us today. And um, again, it's at 1040 Eastern Time, um, so please join us for that conversation. And her website is www.walker.com, and you can go and find out a lot more about her there as well. So thank you. I appreciate it. And back to you, Satiris. Thank you. Thank you, Beverly. Um, I also would like to wish our uh, express our thanks and gratitude to all of our panelists and our special guests in advance for their commitment against the fight against COVID-19. Also, I'd like to express our support, oh, sorry, I express our thanks to all our supporters for the event. And there's so many to mention here right now, but if you do go to the website, you can see the complete list of all our supporters that have made this event possible today. Also, as Mike said, in panels five and six, we will have a number of our supporters uh, sharing their opinions and discussions as well uh, for the event today. It really is at times like this where we do a lot of self-reflection. You know, the last eight weeks where we've all been locked up, maybe longer for people in Europe or around the world, uh, we have to consider what's forcing, what we need to change going forward and to learn how to do things differently. Every day that you hear different stories from people and organizations, how they're modifying, how they're changing, how they're making themselves more resilient going forward into the future. 
Over the next few hours, we will explore the following themes around COVID-19 and the impact on society, business, and technology. Mike did say we're broken up into six different panels today, and we will cover a variety of topics, including uncertainty, risk, complexity, resilience, anti-fragility, and future proofing. Mm -hmm. Mike, why don't you go into a little more detail about the panels? Sure, thanks, Ateris. So each panel will have a moderator. Um, I'll actually be moderating the first one. So um, just so you understand, it's more so a conversation among the panelists and, and you as an audience will have the ability to ask questions through the chat feature. So um, as we said a few times, we do have six sessions. So please feel free to jump in and out of the session, you know, depending on your schedules. Again, you can go to microstrat.com uh, under insights and events to view the schedule. Um, so with that, you know, before we move into our first panel discussion, we'd like to leave you with one thought as we continue through this pandemic. In order to survive and thrive as a global community, we must be technology enabled, business focused, human powered, and society embracing. On behalf of myself, Satiris, and Bev, we want to thank you all for your time and hope you enjoy and find this conference invaluable. Thank hey, guys, you know, just a thought be before we uh, leave, because I know we have a couple minutes before we kind of get over to this. And there are, there are some kind of main themes that um, we're all going to be talking about, and you'll hear them throughout the panels. And, you know, it's really about the uncertainty. It's about the risk. It's about, you know, complexity, resilience, um, you know, and really future-proofing, because a lot of people are trying to navigate through this time, and, and it's like, you're trying to figure out when, you know, especially like in, in, in the United States, when are we going to go back to work? What does that look like? How do you protect the workers? So there's a lot of, you know, um, a lot of things that really, you know, things that people really have to think about as we're going back into it. Because a lot of this, you know, some of the employees might not want to even go back into the office. So there's a lot of things we as, as leaders especially need to be kind of navigating through here and, and, and thinking beyond kind of where we are today, because we're kind of in the United States, we're kind of mid pandemic. We're hoping to get back into, you know, back into the offices around June or something, right, guys. And so I'm in the office today for the first time in a long time because I have some family members that are, um, you know, that are at risk. So I came in just because our bandwidth is bad, but it's just kind of weird. It's a little surreal here as I sit here and nobody else is in the office. And, um, you know, just thinking about what it's going to be like when we all come, you know, back in. So I just wanted to put that out to you guys because it's something that's going to be a very different thing here. Um, so I'm just kind of, you know, just kind of explaining it to how I felt as I came into my office today. My plants are a little dead in the background. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so just wanted to put that out to you guys. It's just a thought here. Well, that's, no, that's very true, Beverly. In fact, today I was listening to the news and I understand the NFL announced their, uh, their, their game start times as well. So it's interesting to see around the world how different sports organizations are going to start to kick off and you start to see the evolving change in how we are going to start to come back. Uh, so it'll be interesting to watch uh, how different uh, industries, different organizations, different uh, events take place as we uh, come to kind of start coming out of this pandemic. Yep. And so like I said, I think, you know, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, I hope that the event today with all the uh, panelists and their insights will get, add a little bit more color, uh, add a little bit more uh, education to everyone as they think about coming out, you know, give people some thoughts, some uh, uh, ideas uh, to help uh, as we do start to uh, put our plans in together as what the new world will be like uh, as we do come out of this.